Hello, and welcome to the Champions of Meandir browser app tutorial. My name is Alvin. I'm the designer and game director for Champions of Meandir. In this video, I assume you already know what Champions of Meandir is. If not, you can visit our website, meandir.com, to learn about it. I'll post a link to it in the video description. The goal of this video is to give you an overview of the Champions of Meandir browser app, or Comba for short. This is a free app that enables you to connect and play the game with friends through a web browser. It can be accessed through our website, as you can see here. For the sake of time, I won't go over everything you can do with Comba in this video, but what we cover here should be enough to get you started. One more thing to note before we jump in, Comba is currently a work in progress, but its basic functionality is all in place. This means, as you'll see throughout the video, that the user interface and much of the artwork is still unfinished. However, everything you need to actually play the game is complete. Let's go ahead and launch the browser app. The first thing we'll cover is how to register an account. If you're just checking things out for the first time, feel free to log in as a guest, but keep in mind that you'll have to register an account to access all of Comba's features. Registering an account is super easy, which I'll demonstrate here. Simply click the Create Account button, enter your email, create your password, then click Register. That's all there is to it. One thing to note when you register an account, make sure to use a valid email which you have access to because you may need to access that email later on to reset your account password if you forget it at some point. Once you've registered, you can go ahead and choose a new display name if you wish. You can do so by clicking the profile button on the top right, selecting edit display name, and entering your new name. The next thing we'll cover is how to connect with your friends to play games. You can do so by clicking the Play Game button and either joining an existing room or creating a new one for your friends to join. Let's go ahead and create a new room. If you take a look at this box here, you'll see the room's code, which you can copy and paste into Discord or whatever communications platform you're using. Your friends can then enter that code to join the room you've created. Now, of course, I'm demonstrating this by myself right now, so it's just me in the room. But here's a little trick you can use if you want to simulate multiple players. First, open a new browser tab. Log into your account in the new tab. Then join with the room code. As you can see here, the other player that just joined is actually me, signed into the same account, but in a different tab. This trick comes in handy when you want to simulate games and test out how various decks play against one another without having to rely on someone else being there. Before the game starts, select which deck you'll be bringing into the game. Every account comes preloaded with a bunch of pre-constructed decks, which you can use if you're just starting out and don't know enough about the game yet to build your own. So let's go ahead and select this deck here, for instance. Then we'll select, say, this one for the other player. Then we'll go ahead and start the game. Now let's go over the user interface and controls. To point at something in the game, click it while holding control on your keyboard. This will make a ping animation, which all other players will see. It's a good habit to do this when you're referring to objects in the game, so everyone can see what you're referring to. When playing cards from your hand, you can drag and drop them into your active zone, like so. Once they're in play, you can click on them to see them at full size. While hovering over numbers in the user interface, such as this or this, left-clicking will make the number go up, and right-clicking will make the number go down. Use this to track gold, and use this to track points. You can also increase and decrease a card's power and health this way. Right-clicking certain things will open menus. Most actions in the game can be performed using menus. So for example, you can produce a token by right-clicking an empty spot on your board, selecting menu options to get what you want. Or you can remove a card from play. Or you can view your deck and fetch a card. And so on. You can also use hotkeys to perform actions quicker. I won't showcase the hotkeys here, as there are a lot of them, 
but you can find most of the hotkeys in the new player reference document, which I'll link in the video description. To leave the game, simply click the menu button on the bottom right and select Leave Game. Note that if you're the host of the game, leaving the game will cause all other players to be kicked out. Now let's go over the deck construction component of Kamba. If you click the View Decks button, you can see all the deck lists that are saved to your account. Let's go ahead and create a new deck by clicking the New Deck button. We'll call it Example Deck. Then let's go ahead and start adding cards to our deck by clicking the Add Cards button. If you click Search with nothing in the search bar and no search filters, Combo will show you every card that's currently in the game. Let's put in some search filters, such as asking it to show us only denizen cards and only cards that are unique. We'll click search again, then click on the cards we want to add. Now we'll make one of them our champion, like so. Then we'll continue adding cards, making use of search filters to find what we want more quickly. Make sure to hit save periodically. Always a good habit to have. So yeah, from here, we continue adding cards until the deck is complete. And that's basically it. You're now ready to start building decks and playing games with your friends through the Champions of Meandir browser app. I look forward to seeing what kind of decks you come up with and hope to see you in the game.